Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. You know, uh, as you know, we are not, uh, you know, we allow people to um, disagree with us for sure. And uh, you can even call us names for sure. Uh, you can say whatever you want about us for sure, but we can answer you for sure. And then when we answer you, don't cry. In the front of me, there is a lady, her name is Maria. Just because she, her name is Maria, so I'm going to speak about her as a lady. I don't know even how you call yourself Maria, and I will show you why. She said, may the Lord bless you all. Is what you say so often. So you agree that I say old, I don't say some. I mean, how silly you are. Hmm. And then you say, don't be a hypocrite, since you clearly don't include democratically affiliated people in your blessing. <laughs> I mean, I say always, oh, stupidity is amazing. If I don't agree with them, if I say they are, they lost their mind, so when I say, God bless you all, I say, God bless you all, Who is it? whoever is listening, you are, you, are, you are mentally ill. And then she said, shame on you for adding social divisions. I mean, look who is talking. A woman, she is part of the Democratic Party, who they are burning churches, burning the Bible, calling Jesus the F word, calling Mary the F word, calling Jesus white man shall come down and she is talking about social division it's me who did that and I mean it's obvious you are causing social division I did how <laughs> this is your scumbag your leader saying that Jesus' images and statues have to be teared down immediately. And you are talking about division. You're filthy. And you are going to vote for people who present such a movement which has spread the hatred and division between people. Do you know that there's more than a billion human beings they are black, they worship Jesus as God? Do you know that? I'm sure you never heard of this before. A billion? More than a billion. Do you know that the ones who worship Jesus as God, they are people of color way more than the white people? Do you know? If we count the African, if we count South America, if we count the Asian, we will find that the white people who worship Jesus, they are minority. How in the world you can vote for a party saying the following? An idiot, his name is Shawan King, and he is a leader of the Black Life Matter. And the funny, those guys who they are Black Life Matter leaders, they are not even black. <laughs> You know, they are Black Lives Matter only to use you for the propaganda. And actually, we have many brothers who they are black exposing those liars. That guy, George Floyd, he died for $25. After he died, they put him in a coffin made of gold. Where was your gold when he was alive? And now, as we speak, there's, there's millions like George Floyd. They need the $25 in their pocket. Where was Obama for the last eight years to give them the $25? Look what this filthy he said. Yes, I think the statues of the white European they claim Jesus should come down. White Europe Jesus now is European? Jesus by the way, guys, Jesus is born in Germany, in case you do not know. Hmm. <laughs> And look how stupid he is. He said in the Bible where the family of Jesus wanted to hide and, and blend and, and, and guess where they went. They went to Egypt. So you stupid, you made Jesus.
a European man. But he crossed the border and he became in Egypt. Somebody told you that Egypt is next to Europe. I mean, just to show you the stupidity of those people who they have nothing but shame. Jesus is European white man. And Jesus, the European white man, he crossed the border and he found himself in Egypt. <laughs> this is what happened to me, you know, uh, when Muhammad, he was crossing actually the borders, he went to heaven, he found himself in the Nile River, which is in Ethiopia. Supposedly the guy, he went all the way to the seven galaxy behind the seven uh, skies, and then he found himself in the Nile River in Ethiopia. And this is the same donkey. Their hatred to Christianity is amazing. So they involve right away the name of Jesus in something have to do, nothing to do with Jesus. Why, did Jesus own slaves, your donkey? Did he sell slaves? He don't even have a servant. He called those who follow him, my brothers. He called those who killed him, forgive them father, they don't know what they are doing. And then the stupidity continue. This donkey, he said the following. Yes, all morals and stand glasses windows of white Jesus and his European mother. We go now after his mother. What? And his mother is what? She is a European mother. I think Mary, she used to speak a French when, you know, yeah, Jesus was from Germany and Mary, she was from France. And both of them, they have a blue eyes. <laughs> Should also come down, you filthy coward. Try it. Just to try it. And the coward, why he don't go and make them go down? In the best scenario, we will make you stay in jail for a good time. If your lawyers are so good. For many years to come. And actually already many of them, they are in jail for the crimes they commit. And look, they call themselves democratic, but they want to burn, they want to destroy, they want to, they don't complain, you see, this is not opinion. They want to take it down, break it, destroy it. They burn churches. They burn the Bible. They took statues down. They beat people up in the street. And yet they call themselves democratic party. What is democratic about you? When Trump, he won the election, the guy before even he entered the White House, they start burning cars. Look, the videos is all over YouTube. And they are burning cars in their state, which means those are Democrats like them. Any car in the street, they burn it. Trump, he just signed an agreement, peace agreement between Israel And the Muslims. Do you know what the Democrat right away they say? Hmm, read. Good for him for having destruction on the day when the number of people who are afflicted and the number of people who they are dying from the virus only increase. So what he will do? He will stop being president? So if he make peace, he is not good. If he go for war, he is a war warrior. The guy, he did not even go for any war. When he shake his hand with the president of Korea, oh, he's shaking hand with the dictator of Korea. So what do you want us to nuke him and he nuke us? Filthy and guilty. 
To do her hair, she go to the saloon. Everybody's, every saloon is, is closed, shut down. People, they are dying. They cannot find a job. But she is the filthy rich, living in a big villa, and she said, defund the police, and the police in every corner of her villa. Defund the police, and Obama don't go to buy a zucchini without more than 80 secret service. Walking with him wherever he go, or his wife, or his daughter. Defund the police, and none of them move without the police. And now they are even claiming the guy, the poor guy for a global warming. Why the fire in California is done by Trump. <laughs> and Joe Biden, if you clicked him, he will fight the global warming and he will stop the fire in California. <laughs> You know, when I say, when I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Isn't it amazing? You have to be mentally ill to be a person who votes for Democrat. They say to you, we are against drilling for oil. So, okay, why you are, why all of them, they are using the most expensive heavy duty cars. El Gore used to go from a country to country to teach people about going green. Guess how he do it? He fly with his own jet. He take an airplane alone. Do you know how much gas fuel this airplane will take? Is enough for like not not a street. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. To 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 light fire and fuel for tens of years if you use it as a normal use just to go and fly and make a speech he cannot take us he cannot take an airplane by himself he is not the president he is no one just he want to make a speech and all of them they speak about helping the poor but clinton to make a speech in university she had to take sixty-five thousand dollars for a speech just to make a speech and the speech is about, we need to support the poor. <laughs> so, and, and then, you know, she said about, uh, let me read the rest of the comment, just to be fair about what she is saying. Oh, this is, uh, this is Joe Bite me, is quoting Muhammad. Yeah, we will go for that later. And then she said, shame on you for adding social division in this election year for speaking of Democrats and liberals as demons, idiots, and less a human. This is not a Christian conduct, you stupid idiot. You are the one who said they are the human, not me. And by the way, you people don't believe in a human. You believe that you're an animal species. Don't you follow Darwin, your God? That one day you, be, you, you used to be a chicken and today you became chimpanzee. Secondly, if you really believe that all humans are equal, then you say all life matter. Not only black life matter, because first this is a hypocrite statement said by someone he is even white, he's not even black. Secondly, when you say black life matter, you are ma making others feel that they are out of the life matter. Their life doesn't matter. This is a racist statement. This is increased hate. This is not against hate. This is a statement of hatred and racism. For all life matter. All of us, we are human. The Asian, the black, the white, it doesn't matter. And the only one, actually, he make your life matter is the teaching of Jesus. And this is why I said to you from the beginning, there's more than a billion, and they are black, they worship Jesus as God. Do you know why? Because Jesus did not discriminate them. Jesus did not say, if you are white, you can follow me. If you are black, you cannot. He says, go and teach all the world. For God, he loved the whole world. He sent his only begotten son. So shame on you to be Democrat, because Democrat is the one who make the vision. Shame on you to claim to be Christian, and yet you be Democrat, because you approve abortion. Is that what a Christian do? They support abortion? You vote for a party burning churches in the street? You vote for a party agree 
with killing babies? And you claim to be Christian? And you claim to be following God and you know who's God? You are a murderer where you kill babies. What is the difference between killing a baby before he was born and killing him after? There's no, he's a baby. What if your mom, she flushed you in the toilet seat before you are born? She killed you. And I think in your case, your mom, she made a mistake. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> so my friend, those people are the most hypocrite people. They remember God when they want. God for them is a tool to use. Look at this uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. He is quoting the devil Muhammad himself, and he is quoting Muhammad saying, go and kill anyone who don't you don't agree with. This is the one you want to vote for. Did you know what he was quoting? Listen carefully. Hadith from the Prophet Muhammad instructs, whomever among you sees a wrong, let him change it with his hand. If he is not able... Let him change it by his hand. Do you know what is wrong for Muslims? All of you. The stupid Joe Biden is asking Muslims to practice violence, according to Islam, you know what it is, against you. All of you Democrat, you do wrong according to Islam. Name one thing for me, Democrat they do, is not against the Prophet Muhammad teaching. So, when I say the Prophet Muhammad, I'm talking about the scumbag Muhammad. So, when you say we are Democrat, you are voting for a guy quoting a terrorist, and he is quoting a terrorist, asking his followers to do what to you? Do you know what uh, what Muhammad he said about the gays and lesbian? The one who did it, kill him. Biden, he says, if you see wrong, change by your hand. <laughs> Do you know what uh, what Muhammad said about not be believing in Allah? And if you are not Christian or a Jew, you have to be killed. Do you know what Muhammad said if you are a person uh, who uh, supposedly... Uh, uh, a Christian when you live, you have to pay them. You have to pay the Muslim money so you can live. Or what about whipping your back 100 times for drinking wine? This is what this guy is quoting. This is the one you want to vote for him. You are voting, voting for the devil. Those people, they have no morality. They just want to get vote. So, he brought a Christian preacher who says, God will curse you if you don't vote for Joe Biden. And you are saying to me, shame on you. It is you who curse people, not us. Obama won the election. We did not go and burn cars. We did not see one car is burned. It is your party who stand for slavery all the time since the beginning of the starting of this party until now. You can search right now on YouTube and you will find tons of videos speaking about the Democratic Party, which is nothing but the party of slavery. In fact, the one who fought for the slavery against the slavery, it was the Republican. And by the way, I am an immigrant. I don't care for party names. I stand for what is right. I'm voting Republican, not because I believe Republican, they are a God. I believe that they are better than you when it's come to the value. And when Trump, he came, you know, he made a big change for the, the, the Republican because Republican, they became like a coin under the face of the Democrat. Both of them, they became like the same garbage, you know. Both of them, they became, let us say, fraud. It's a system. This guy, he came out of the system and he destroyed you all. He exposed you all. And no matter what he do, you will hate him. You could not accept that Hillary Clinton, the fraud, she lost. You have mentally illness. And what Hillary Clinton she did to you, and what Obama he did to you, and what this guy, this guy, is, he's, he's coming from the museum with my respect to all people. He is there for 47 years working for government, what he did. But you want him to win so you can control the government. He will be a toy, the same as Obama. Obama came, we have ISIS. As simple as that. He sent $600 million to ISIS. He sent an airplane full of money to the terrorists in Iran. 
he sold the uranium to Russia, and yet they accused Trump that he is the one is a Russian agent. I mean, have you ever heard of a country, the one of the most powerful country in the world, they sell their own uranium to the Russian? Yes, they did. And yet, Trump, he worked for Putin. Here we go. <laughs> So when I say stupidity is amazing, it is amazing. How you vote for Democrat when Democrat is saying the effort to Jesus, making fun of Mary, they've been to burn the Bible, they want to forbid the word God from the Constitution. How you can be Christian and you vote Democrat? You tell me. I admit that both parties are garbage. Yes, I admit. So what? I'm saying the truth. You see, I will give you an example. John McCain is the best of the garbage of the Republican Party. He's a fraud. So what? When we say Republican, we are not talking about Holy God. Most of them, those who they are in the office for centuries, they are a fraud. George Bush is a business and his family is a business. All of you, if you don't watch, you don't see what's happening, it means you are a fool. So the reason I like Trump, this guy is like a big kid. He say it as it is. He don't add makeup. In the same time, if you are a Christian, which one you vote for? The one who sponsor abortion or the one who's against it? The one who wanna put judges they are conservative against abortion in the Supreme Court or the one who support it? Which one you choose? The one who say we want to keep the word God in the Constitution or the one who want to take it off? So when you say that you claim to be Christian and yet you support the one who they are fighting Christianity and fighting the teaching of Christ, you are no Christian. What the Lord said, from their fruit you shall know them. Where is your fruit? Your fruit is, if we go to the Bible right now, I know you hate to see the Bible, right? The Bible hurt. I'm telling you, the Bible will hurt you. There's tons of verses in the Bible speaking about not to be Democrat. Because everything you stand for and you call it equality, have nothing to do with equality. I just saw in the news, uh, a guy he called Nancy Crazy Nancy. They said that there's respect for women in this country. I cannot, you cannot say Crazy Nancy, that's it. If you say Crazy Nancy, that's you mean you are saying all women are crazy. <laughs> if I say crazy, man, it's okay. I mean, they are so stupid. And they try to use their propaganda machine to put anyone down. They label you right away. They demonize you. They make you the devil. They are a bully. You know the bully? The Democrat Party is the party of the bully. You are like a bully in a school. A bunch of gang, Antifa. BLM, whatever you call yourself, a bully. You go after a woman and her husband sitting in the cafe drinking their coffee and you humiliate them. Why? Because you are a bully. You claim that you are democratic and you claim that Trump will not leave the White House, but you are the one who burn cars when he get inside the house and even before he get in the, in the house. You don't accept the, the, the election, you, you call yourself Democrat. You are the party of bully. Everything about you is a bully. And if we ask them, those who clean call themselves Democrat, in the same time they say they are Christians. Okay, what is a Christian about you? Hmm? Let us check what is a Christian about this party. Shall we? Because when you say 
uh, I am a Christian, you are making a statement of belief. It's not just a name or, you know, it's a statement of belief. So are you against this verse or you support this verse? And tons of verse like it. Now the work of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, sensuality, sorry, my, my English is funny. Idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fit of anger, etc. I mean, all of them you do. And you support it. And you add more killing babies, division between white and black, burning, even killing now these days, shooting police, bully. And look at this fool in the front of my face. I mean, why am I stuck with his face? This guy don't even remember his name. They want to make him. I mean, the, the, the country have more than 300 million citizens. They could not get someone to go for election except this guy. They try to bully me. The same as the Mohammedan, they bully me. And they try to bully Trump because how they can put him down. We have to bully him. They make him a Russian agent. They make him work for the, I don't know. I mean, oh, you cannot believe it. They start the impeachment before he became a president. And they start telling the black people that he is a person, he is a KKK. Are you sure? Yes, brother, he is a KKK. <laughs> he wants to continue to try to label our president a racist. President Trump, he's going to go down as the greatest president of all time. The fact is, Democrats play the race card every chance they get because it's just down the bay. President Trump is not racist. President Trump's comment towards the quote-unquote squad were not racist. Fa Hold on. You are ain't black if you vote for Trump. <laughs> Trust me, they bully those people too. Even they threat them. And they accuse them not to be black. But, uh, but look at my face, I'm, I'm black. No, you are not black. I can prove it. But I, 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 you know, uh, no, you are not black. You cannot be black and vote for, for Trump. You cannot do that. <laughs> when Trump, he won the election, should I show you? You people, you are people of hysteria. Your hatred is amazing. Crying. Actors, they go on TV. I cannot, I'm, going, I'm not going to live in the USA no more. <laughs> What's happened? What's wrong with you? You have mental illness. You have a mental illness. And by the way, all of you, you promised us to leave the country after Trump, he won. Why you are still here, coward liars? My thing, my friend, we have a topic. This is what you are busy now about the, the peace agreement with Israel and Emirat. We will talk about it different later. There is some uh, uh, channels, all, all those guys, by the way, you can watch them, they are very well known on YouTube, and they expose the lies of those who accuse Trump of racism, and they are trying to divide us, you see? We are one community. There's nothing that's called the black and white. If I am safe, my neighbor is safe, doesn't matter who is he. He's black, he's white, he's Asian, doesn't matter. They are, they are dividing us. They say we don't want the police, but when something happens, all of them, they call the police. And all of them, they don't go. All those who they are in charge of offices, they don't walk anywhere without the police. Why Trump, why, why Obama don't say, from you know what, I don't want the Secret Service no more. I don't want police. Anymore. I'm going to walk in the street because uh, uh, I, I, I believe we need to defund them. Do you know how much the security of Trump and Hillary Clinton and the Clinton cost us every year? 
those people will, will pay for the security for the rest of their life millions of dollars every year they close roads for them they empty coffee shop for them when they go in a hotel they have preserve an, a, a special place for them have security is a is a is the first thing to check who is paying for this but they are against the police but they cannot live without the police and they cannot walk without the police actually the one who helped the black people is a trump he support fund for colleges where black people who they are poor they cannot pay they used to beg for it every year they send please can you support us sir every year he said why you send this letter every year yeah that's it you will have it every year don't 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 come to me to me again and beg for it this is your right we will support you he created an investment zone where nobody ever thought about this a pr brilliant idea where if you invest in the territory whereas the black and black community they are poor we you, you pay no tax no tax can you believe it no tax and that bring billions of dollars to those areas so this society flourish and they will not poor like george floyd he do uh, jail reform people who commit a crime once or you know give them a chance to live you don't put them in jail for 20 years for one time a crime. He did everything he can do for the black people. Yet the liars, they label him. And actually, I like what this uh, brother here, he said in the beginning of the video, you, you notice what he said? He said they label him. They are bully, you know? They label the guy. They label me, they will label you. The second you don't agree with them, they label you. So the mainstream media wants to continue to try to label our president a racist. President Trump, he's going to go down as the greatest president of all time. The fact is, Democrats play the race card every chance they get because it's just down the bay. President Trump is not racist. President Trump's comments towards the quote-unquote squad were not racist. Facts are not racist. The media instantly said that that is racist and nothing... Stop. This guy is not a black. I know him. He is born in Germany like Jesus. And his mother is European and her name is Mary. And I got witnesses. You want to see the witnesses? Sean King. <laughs> I mean, stupidity is really amazing. I mean, do, do those people ask themselves, okay, how Jesus is European and his mother is European and yet he crossed the border, he became in Egypt. I mean, I cannot find a solution for this case. Like I am a Middle Eastern, hmm? I'm an Arab and I crossed the border, I found myself in Mexico. I mean, do you see how easy it is? <laughs> and by the way, as long as Jesus is racist, so why is why he sent his disciple to all the world, including the black people? And one of the earliest people who convert to Christianity is African, Egyptian, and Ethiopian. How stupid you are. And you know, the funny is, they are people of politically correctness, not when it's come to insult others. As long as you are not from their party, they have no problem to insult you. Jesus is a white supremacy. Why Jesus is a white supremacy? What he said? Can you show us one of his teaching, teaching white supremacy, a donkey? How that happened? Isn't it the Bible even, from the beginning, from the book of Genesis, says, 
that God created man in his image? And he's speaking about all mankind. Is it Jesus, the one who taught us not to make diversion and not to favor one upon other? Who are they, those people? Where their ideas is coming from? You know, the Bible makes it clear. There's no difference between a Jew, a Hebrew, Gentile, black, white, free, slave, for all is one. There's tons of beautiful verses in the Bible teaching unity that we are all a family. All of us, we are a family. People who focus in color is the racist. This is why they keep talking about color. They cannot forget about it. And because they cannot forget about it, will we have to repeat the same word every day? And we have to use it to our agenda too. In 1 uh, Timothy, chapter 5, it says, I charge thee before God and the Lord Jesus Christ and the elect angels and though observe things without preferring one before another. You cannot be Christian and you practice racism. It's against God. In James uh, chapter 2, I think, speaking to about not to favor one upon others and to love our neighbor. James 2, uh, 8 to 9, I think. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. So when those people, they speak about things and they try to label Jesus and to bully Jesus, I mean, who is left? The one who said, love your enemy. Even this one, we are going to bully him. And you notice that those cowards, they never speak about Muhammad who used to buy and own slaves. They want to take the Bible down. They want to take Jesus down. Good luck with that, by the way. I challenge you to do it. I challenge you. They forgot that the majority of this country are Christian. We are the majority, not you. And if you are a terrorist and violence, doesn't, doesn't mean you can terrify us and you can uh, uh, make us fear you. We don't fear no one. We don't go in the street and burn cars. We can do the same as you do if you think we cannot, but we are Christians, we don't do that. They try to intimidate you by their violence. And we reject violence, but doesn't mean we are cowards. And actually, the reason they insult Jesus because we are peaceful people. Do this coward dare to say Muhammad used to own slaves, let us take down mosque? We don't dare. None of them dare. <laughs> We showed you, Joe Bite Me, is quoting Muhammad, the one who buy and sell slaves. And not only that, actually, we will show you what Muhammad said about the black people. This is the teaching of Christ, and this is the Bible. Why do you want to fight the Bible? Actually, racism will increase when you fight Christianity. Because the Christianity makes people love each other and unite it.
In Christ, there's no free, there's no slave, there's no Hebrew, there's no German, there's no Mexican, there's no Indonesian, there is child of God. For God, he loved the world. And if you ask me, I find it very disgusting that someone, he claimed to be Christian and he loved Jesus, yet he vote for Democrat. It is literally disgusting. How you can do that? Look what Muhammad he said about black people. And instead of the hypocrite Democrat exposing the, the, the filthy teaching against black people in Islam, what they do? Joe bite me, he caught the filthy Muhammad who said the following words, and I will put it for you on the screen. This is the words of Muhammad, who Democrat, they are quoting him. Somebody was saying it was Judo, Christian's value, that it would an end to slavery. Oh, okay, I got it. Guys, read with me. This is Muhammad. He is saying the following. This is not me. This is not a Christian prince. This is an Islamic website. It's called Al Alm. And this is a Turmudi. This is a very well known book of Hadith. Hadith means the state speech of Muhammad. And the Muslim, they worship this man. They will kill you if you say something like what I say. Like, as an example, I never insult Muhammad. I cannot insult him. Actually, I respect him a lot. Just I call him scumbag, rapist, child molester, filthy, garbage, you know. But I will never insult him because I have a lot of respect to this man. And look what this man, which I respect very much, obviously, said about black people. The Messenger of Allah, Allah pray on him, not for him, said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it the white of spring. So the white of spring came from where? From the right shoulder. In case you do not know what the right shoulder mean or present, right shoulder mean the right people. The word in the religious meaning, right is right, left is wrong. As simple as that. So the white of spring, according to the faith of Muhammad, are created from the right shoulder of Adam, which means they are good people. Aha, this is why they are white. Muhammad is not racist. And then the filthy Muhammad did not stop here. And he said, and they, as if they are, we are white ants. And then he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it the black of spring, as if they were charcoal. And the story continue. Read with me carefully. Oh, you guys, you cannot see the screen? I, I apologize. It's my fault. I'm so excited. After I saw the face of Nancy Pelosi, I cannot stop, you know? especially after she did her hair in the saloon. I mean, I'm too sorry, I'm tempted. The picture of Nancy Pelosi is in my screen and that, that's it, I cannot really resist the temptation. Okay, we can read from the beginning. Allah Messenger, Allah pray for him, not to him, said, Allah created Adam and he had to create him and he struck his right shoulder and, the front, and there emitted it from it white of spring as if they were white ants so the, where is the white people are created from according to the faith of muhammad from the right shoulder take a note and then he struck the left shoulder and there emitted from it the black of spring as if they were circle mm -hmm. the left shoulder black people you are coming from the left shoulder <laughs> and then he said and those who had been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, and I don't mind. The filthy Muhammad saying, why people go to paradise, guaranteed. And then he said, and those who they've been emitted from the left shoulder, they are for hell, and I don't mind. So why those people, they don't go after Muhammad, but they are going after Jesus? Anybody can tell me? Anyone can tell me? Jesus, Jesus never owned a slave. Never, never. He never bought one. 
He never owned one. He never even owned a donkey. Why you are going after Jesus? You made him European. Suddenly Jesus became European. Look like I'm European too. Hmm. They don't dare to speak up against Muhammad. So to make it simple, I'm not going to stay here for long. If you are a Christian and you vote for Democrat, you are a filthy hypocrite. You are voting for people who insult Jesus, spit on him, burn his book, burn his churches, call him the F word. They vote for abortion. They teach your kids everything wrong against the Bible. And they want to forbid the word God from the Constitution. They want to forbid the prayer before any meeting in the government. They want to forbid anything good of God is in this country. And yet you claim to be Christian and you are voting for them. Shame on you. Time will come and you will stand in the front of the Lord. And you will pay for your crime. When you vote for Democrat, you're voting for killing babies. How many babies you killed by voting for Obama? Hmm? Did you ask yourself? How many? Or you will say, I make uh, just a vote. No, you did kill a babies by voting for Obama. Because if you did not put him there by your vote, I vote against him. I did my part. You did. The Bible says the one who see a, a sin and he don't try to fix it, he is part of it. He's a partner. So I will vote for Trump guaranteed, not because Trump is the best guy in the world, but at least he is not evil as they are. And this guy is more decent, he say he do. Those people, they say and they do the opposite. The only thing they do is hurting you, is killing babies. Osama bin Laden took 3,000 American Caused him a lot. Obama, to kill millions of Americans, caused him a signature. Thanks to you, Democrat. And the funny, by the way, all of them before the election, they became religious. Before the before they start meeting, you know, like you see, you see Joe Biden, he 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 bring a priest. So today, Joe Biden is meeting veteran. Those people, they make fun of the people in the army. Last time when I was in California, and I was in the army, a guy, he is Democrat, he said, did you join the army? How disgusting. I said, shut up and get out of here. They make fun of anyone join the army. Only in the election day, they want to, okay, we support the army. And uh, yeah, we support our veteran. Where you been? Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> Since when you support the army? Coward, hypocrite, fraud, and bully. This is what happened when you are a Democrat. So if you are a person who are, is a Christian and by mistake you understood Democrat wrongly. And by the way, uh, for me as an immigrant, they told me Democrat is the one who defend immigrant. I said, oh, okay, sound good, so I will vote Democrat. But then I start listening about this party, and the more I listen, the more I start vomiting. I never voted for Democrat, and I am an immigrant, and I am an Arab American. Last time I went to our election, the lady, she said to me, you have an accent, where are you from? I said, I'm an Arab. She said, oh, usually Arab, they vote for Democrat. I said, because I said, to her, I'm not stupid. <laughs> you should see her eyes. She's Democrat. You know, her eyes is coming out like a frog. And I'm not voting for Republican because they are the good ones. But we have two options. One is extremely evil. You have no other choice. And Trump, the poor guy Trump, I call him the poor because they are bullying him. 
they bully his wife, they make fun of her English. I mean, look at those cowards. They claim that they yeah, support immigrant. His wife, she speak and she have a broken English, they make fun of her. So how you are an immigrant and you follow the party who is bullying an immigrant for his English is funny. I mean, even this one, you want to make fun of her? She is not born in this country. So do you speak her language? Can you speak good as she's speaking her language? You want to make fun of me because I don't speak good English? Bully. They are literally bully. Yeah, they, do, they are confused about their gender. Hold on. Anyone remember what the name of the video of uh, Mike Dice? Just to show you how much they are obsessed and how much they hate the man Trump. Say any lie about him. And, and those guys, they will go crazy. Anything. Accuse Trump of anything. To the point, this guy, Mike Dice, he said to them that uh, uh, Trump uh, uh, kids, they killed the dinosaur. And, he, and his kids are getting away with it. The Democrat lady, she said, yeah, yeah, they are getting away with it, yeah. They killed the dinosaur. Anyone remember the title? <laughs> they killed the dinosaur? Yeah, yeah, disgusting, yeah, yeah. You should see how she say, yeah. I mean, what? Common sense test okay let me somebody thank you admins i have the best admins in the world by the way and none of them is made in china <laughs> <laughs> hold on give me a second <laughs> oh yeah I, each time I remember this, yeah, I find it hilarious, you know? Yeah. Like, what? What happened? Yeah, yeah. They killed the dinosaur. Yeah, you know? Like, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Let me put it for you on the screen. You will die laughing. I mean, those people, they have obsession with the Trump. Just bully him. Everybody support you. Say any lie you want about Trump and his kids, they support you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will make a song about it. You might have seen the Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now, just... Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Do those people have a brain? Yeah, oh, yeah, yes. Oh yeah. Oh Hunting yes. Hunting trips just for fun and yes. kill all these. The Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill all these poor animals. So yeah. now, just getting people's reactions to Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa. Yeah. Um, hunting yeah. Okay, so honestly, my opinion is, <laughs> I think. They're just getting away with a lot for the simple fact that they're Donald Trump's children. That's it. They are getting away with it. I mean, come on. They killed the dinosaur. I mean, isn't it obvious? The fire in California because of the denial of a, so if you don't agree there is a like a global warming, <laughs> the fire of California is because of Trump, and now the dinosaurs are extinct because of the kids of the Ivanka the evil. You see what Ivanka she is doing? Oh boy! I mean, for how long we will let them do this? The family of Trump, they are hunting dinosaur in South Africa. Hey, South African, are you there? Aren't you going to make a case against Donald Trump and his kids? Listen, he destroyed dinosaur in your country. We have witnesses. And look, she is going to go and she will be a witness in the court and she will say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what kind of yeah this yeah is? 
the women before her, he, no, she believed that Trump is going to forbidden what the what they call it the the women thing for the period. They believe it. Trump, he will forbid it. No, that's not good. Why he will forbid it? <laughs> you might have seen the Donald Trump kids are big hunters. They go on these oh, hunting yes. trips just for fun and yes. kill these poor animals. So yeah. now, yeah. just getting people's reactions to Donald Trump's kids now killing the Triceratops in Africa yeah. on a hunting expedition. Okay, so honestly, my opinion. And look at the one in the background. This is this is the this is the situation in California. <laughs> this is what the education system of a Democrat did to the children of California. There's many channels, by the way, they are doing the same. They go and they ask them a question. They do not know what the Fourth of July is for. Many of them do not even know what the Capitol. Where is the White House? Who is the president? Some of them they ask him who is the president. They don't know. is I think they're just getting away with a lot for the simple fact that they're Donald Trump's children. Would an ordinary person be able to get away with killing a Triceratops or is the Donald Trump's kids just being able to get away with that because they're Donald Trump's kids? I think they're getting away with it because they're Donald Trump's kids and I think... I and you guys are blaming me not getting married until now. I'm just kidding. Not all women like this. <laughs> this is what happened to if you follow Democrat. Oh, yeah, yeah. The kids of Trump, they are, yeah. I mean, the yeah is coming from all the way from the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder what will happen to your husband if he gets married to you. I think you will ask your husband why you did not show up for the last week. He will say, I was in South Africa hunting dinosaur. He will say, yeah, yeah, you joined the kids of Trump, yeah. Shame on you, yeah. She will believe it. Hmm? No, oh boy. anybody else which is getting in trouble and they're honestly just i don't know With jail animal, time animal rights activists yeah 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 they need jail time like yeah what's wrong yeah sure jail time they need jail time i would like to see ivanka trump and the, what the, what her name what the, the donald the, the other brother uh donald the, the junior going to jail for killing dinosaur that would be hilarious let us arrest them they killed the dinosaur just, I don't know. With jail the animal, time. Animal rights activists. Yeah, they'll they'll pay a fine for it, and they'll they'll serve their time in jail and. For killing the Triceratops, I think it's endangered yeah. species in some countries. So yeah. So makes it even worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I agree. All right. Thank you very much. We want to. She agree. I mean, what do you want more? She agree. That's it. Know how many stars are on this flag? Fifty-one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do the stars represent? They represent. <laughs> Let's see. Is it the? You can't. Don't physically count. It's like a quiz. It's some something about the states, right? <laughs> All right. Something. It is something about the states, right? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> this is an American citizen. You believe it? This is what happened when you don't teach your children anything about your country. You don't make them proud about their country. You see, in America, in the Democrat states. You can be proud to be Mexican, you can be proud to be Arab, you can be proud to be anything, but don't be proud to be an Amer American. If you do that, they spit in your face. I mean, what's wrong with those people? People desperately coming from overseas just to be an American citizen. But those who live in America didn't appreciate America. Actually, if I am a Trump, I will strip anyone from his citizenship immediately. I will change the law that anyone who burned the American flag Anyone who hate America, he, he speak bad about America, I will let him leave. Take his passport, ship him to wherever you want. What do you want? What do you want? You want to go to Afghanistan? Which country is the best for you? Once I was sitting with a bunch of Arab. As you know, I'm an Arab. So 
they start talking about like you know America is a crimes and you know and I was listening and listening and listening and then they said to me so what do you think I said all right you are a, all of you are a bunch of a scumbag hypocrite they look at me you see you should see their faces you know I said what they said well you hate America America is a land of crimes and criminals it's ugly it is bad it is disgusting and yet you sit here like a puppy and you die to get the passport and you stand in the line in the front of the immigration and you were telling me about how hard it was to get citizenship I mean how stupid you are to tell me what you are saying you know what I'm saying guys I mean look at those hypocrites they left their land they wash dishes in the restaurant they do anything they can to get citizenship and then after they get citizenship america is a uh, is bad disgusting you know people don't have good morality here yeah go to the morality in the middle east where the butcher he sends you he, he sell you a, 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 a beef but in fact it is a uh, rat meat morality look who's talking in the middle east we have the police is corrupt the king is corrupt the ministers are corrupt, the butcher is corrupt, even the guy who cut your hair, he don't do it right, and he is a thief. You buy, you buy two kilograms of tomato, you go home, you find half of it is garbage. They don't even allow you to pick it up. They, they, put, it for, they put the bad ones, they don't let you touch it. You have to tell him how much you want, and he put it for you in the back by himself. And he put the bad ones in the bottom of the, uh, 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 the paper bag. You go home, you find half of it is garbage. Democrat, they teach you to hate America. And let me tell you about America. You Democrat, you have no idea how lucky you are to be a citizen of this country. And you will not know how lucky you are until somebody kick you out, at least for a month or six months. Actually, I don't mind to kick you out forever if I can, <laughs> just to teach you how to behave. So you can appreciate the gift of God which he gave you. Don't you see poor Mexicans, they are crossing the borders, you know, gang, they are abusing them just to cross the borders, raping women, human trafficking. Do you know, you know how lucky you are to be in America? Yet you curse America. Yet you insult America. Yet oh, America is bad. So go, go find different, create a happy land for yourself. I love this country. I've been in many, many countries around the world, including where I'm coming from, the Middle East. America is an amazing land. And the most amazing thing is freedom of speech, which those Democrats, they are trying to take it away from you. They censor you, they label you, they bully you, and YouTube is the bully machine. Twitter is the bully. Let us see if this video will stay there for, for a few hours from now. Let us see how long it's going to take the bully YouTube before they take my video down. Bully. The culture of bully is the culture of Democrat. You can bully as much as you want. We will get you busted. Have you been in New Zealand? No, but I'm, I'm thinking to buy it. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I mean, the name is really strange for me, news land. I mean, why there's a news there? You know, when I start learning English, I, 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 uh, I'm a person who is very much imaginary. So when I read something, I, I make it an image. So news land. What's happening in there? Let me open the news. <laughs> news land. All right. You know, uh, I like English, you know, but, uh, it's, but it's kind of, uh, sometimes it's really weird like running nose and hot dogs and yeah right anyway <clears throat> so I want to say thank you guys for being here feel free to download the videos we love everybody we as a Christians we forgive but doesn't mean if we forgive that's mean we are stupid you cannot be Christian and you vote for someone practicing evil practicing bullying practicing censoring 
somebody when I take the word God from the Constitution, you cannot vote for him. Somebody support everything against the Bible, you cannot vote for him. If you do, you are a hypocrite. So I want to say thank you guys. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, I will try to come live on air tomorrow. There are some people asking me about the Serbian book, which I'm going to publish for free. I will I will do my best maybe by the morning or tomorrow or the day after to publish it. And until I see you soon again, thank you very much. God bless you. Feel free to download the video, share it. We love everybody. We love everybody. Sorry for that. Uh, but doesn't mean if we love and the, and the Lord, he says, love your enemy. Doesn't mean that we don't understand. Doesn't mean we are stupid. Doesn't mean we are... Uh, 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 we, we don't have sense and logic. We are loving people, yes. We say, may the, may, may, he say, the Lord says, bless those who curse you. But does not mean, if I say, may the Lord bless you, that's mean I'm saying to you, may you do more evil. I'm saying, may the Lord bless you so you can see. May the Lord bless you so you can understand. May the Lord bless you so you can appreciate and you might change so you don't support the evil Democratic Party. So may the Lord bless the Democrat, so they might see the truth, and the truth will set them free. May the Lord bless the Democrat, so they will leave the party of Democrat. May the Lord bless the Democrat, so they will stop supporting killing babies. May the Lord support and help the Democrat, so they will start stop division between white and black and Hispanic for all of us human and we are created by God and we are called the children of God no matter what is our color when they ask the Lord how to pray and what to say he says say this our father art of heaven this is my brother in Christ he's a black he says so he say my father art of heaven this is how my brother who is an Asian he says so my father who is art in heaven and I am an Arab and I say my father who is art in heaven so we have one father and we are one family and we have one Lord Christ only can fight racism and Democrat, they, is, they are igniting it. They are working hard to use it. Spreading hatred between us. With the Christ, we are united against racism. The one who don't love his brother in Christ, doesn't matter what his color is, even if he is not a Christian, he is no Christian. If you hate somebody because he's a black, you are no Christian. Or he's Asian. You are no Christian. You don't know even what the Christ is about. And I cannot find one good thing in the party called Democrat. So I say to you, to this woman who said to me, shame on you. I say to you, shame on you to vote for Democrat, yet you claim to be Christian. Shame on you to call yourself Mary, and they are saying the F word to Mary. And they are saying, Mary, she was European, was she? Was Mary real European since when? Bully. They want to bully even Jesus the Lord. Even the Lord, he could not get away from their bully. And look, they are insulting Jesus for decade. In every filthy movie they make in Hollywood, in California, they say the F word and they curse Jesus. A movie cannot be completed without cursing Jesus. And yet you are voting for Democrat. Can those cowards say the F word to Muhammad? They will never do so. Cowards. Hypocrite. And you are not democratic. Because you are the one who burn cars when the other one win. You are the one who burn stores when the other one win. You are not democratic. You practice violence. You beat people in the street. You bully people. So how you call yourself democratic? You will see your leader saying, when you see somebody in the restaurant, go and tell him you are not welcome. What is democracy? This is democracy? Kick him out. Chase him in the road. Chase him in the street. This is those, those are your leaders. Imagine if we do the same. What we will have? We will have civil war. You hate Trump, I will vote for him. You bully him, I will support him more. You speak the truth, I will listen to you. 
you will be filthy. I will wash you with detergent. As simple as that. And this is a Christian prince. May the Lord bless us, bless everybody, forgive us for the stupidity of mankind, which is sometimes beyond imagination. Thank you, and see you soon. Take care.